One Northeast Nebraska family, the June 16th tornadoes were an almost hard to believe case of deja vu. Ron and Corliss Cruz Mark's home near Wakefield was destroyed just eight months after their son and daughter in law lost their home in the tornado that hit Wayne, Nebraska. I, I don't think we even thought about a storm. Definitely. On June 16th, 2014, Corliss Cruz Mark and husband Ron had just returned home to their acreage south of Wakefield after buying a new TV. It was an urgent phone call that alerted them to the danger developing just a few miles away. That's when we got the telephone call from our daughter-in-law. Are you watching TV? Are you watching the weather? Pilgrim's gone. Daughter-in-law Tracy Cruzmark had good reason to worry. Just eight months earlier, a tornado near Wayne, Nebraska, tore apart her home as she sought shelter in the basement. Ron Cruzmark turned on the TV. They showed it coming caddy corner, and then they said it turned and it's coming north, and that's when we went outside. That's when I ran up and got my iPad and started videoing on it, taping it. This is what the tornado looked like just seconds before it took the cruise marks home. When we were standing there, the roof on the crib started coming up, which was probably 150 feet away from where we were. And I said, we have to go in the house. At my job, I did some bus trips. And it sounded like we drove under trees and the low limbs were hitting the top of the bus. That's what I pictured it as or figured it as. When the sound stopped, the cruise marks peered out of their basement window. You've seen the rafters from the house laying in the walkway. And, you know, that was strange to me, I guess. I just, mm. Stranger still? what the crew's mark saw when they climbed the steps out of their basement. When he opened the, the door, which was into the kitchen, the dining room light had been pulled across to right in front of the door. I just, I remember that so well that that dining room light was there and I think I was just dumbfounded, you know. Uh, the sides of the walls were laying flat out you know, just flat on the ground. The roof was gone. The home the Cruz Marks had built 30 years earlier, which had been in the family for more than a century, was now unrecognizable. I thought more about the farm place, being in the family that many years, and all the buildings pretty well gone. And Corliss couldn't help but remember the trauma of the tornado that destroyed their son and daughter-in-law's home the previous October. You know, when it's your kids' place, that hurts. <laughs> when it's your own, it hurts. The cruise marks salvaged what they could. Some of their things were packed up, preparing for a move into a new home they bought in Wayne. But they couldn't move in until September. When they found out that our place was gone, they said that they would move out as fast as they could. The cruise marks moved into their new home three weeks later, never taking for granted the kindness shown by strangers or the fact that they survived at all. The good Lord up above watches over all of us, I guess, and takes care of us. Ron and Corliss managed to salvage the cabinets from the home's kitchen, and they moved them into their new home in Wayne. Those cabinets now hang in Corliss's sewing room and in the garage.